Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lydia Isaac. Hope you're all doing great. So guys, today I'm just going to show you how I make my delicious turkey no tomato stew. Guys, this recipe is so easy, delicious, and oh my goodness. I tell you the truth guys, with this stew, you're going to eat more than you never expected okay except you're on a diet don't try to make this recipe all right so guys those are the ingredients i'm going to use i'm also going to drop them on the description box for you so let's get started with this recipe okay so right here i have my washed turkey i'm just adding it to my pot So I'm going to put in a teaspoon of curry powder, I'm adding some thyme, no mangy stock, and I'm adding my onion, ginger and garlic. So I'm adding one scotch bonnet pepper to parboil my turkey. I love adding um, pepper to parboil my turkey, my meat, any type. It gives it a very good taste. So I'm using just very little water as usual. When you use a very little water to parboil your meat at the beginning, it makes the meat to absorb all the stock and have a very nice taste. So at the end, you can add more water to make it cook properly, but I love using just a little water to start cooking my turkey, beef, or any meat that I'm cooking okay so guys that's it i'm just going to put it in the fire and let it cook for about 20 25 minutes so here are all my bell pepper my onion i've washed it and used my hand to crush it a bit so it will be easy for my blender so guys this is the turkey with a little water cooking so right now i'm adding a cup of water more and i'm just going to leave it to cook properly Normally, it will take your turkey 20 25 minutes to cook. So, guys, I'm just going to leave it to cook. And at this moment, I'm using my hot oil. This is the hot oil I use in frying my gizzard and ripe plantain for my gizzard. The recipe, guys, I'm going to drop the link also so you can watch out my gizzard. The recipe. So I'm just going to fry the turkey. You can grill it if you want or you can bake it in your oven. But today I'm going to fry my turkey. And guys, anytime you're having hot oil in your pot, please be very careful with the kids around and be very careful so you don't burn yourself. So guys, that's it. I'm just going to add it to my sieve with my kitchen um, paper to sieve off all the excess oil in it. So I'm going to preheat my pot and add in some olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Just a little oil we do. So my oil is hot, I'm just adding in some onion. A little salt to taste. And I'm going to let my onion cook for some minutes. So I'm adding in my blended red bell pepper and my scotch bonnet pepper and my onion. So I'm just adding it and I'm going to leave it to cook. Guys, at this time, be very careful as the pepper is going to start popping up, start jumping up. So I'm just going to quickly throw in 
my mangi stock, my curry powder and all and cover it to cook as I don't want to get burnt. As you can see guys, this tomato this stew is made out of just red bell pepper with no tomato guys you need to give this recipe a try oh my goodness you are going to love it you are going to love making your stew with no tomatoes this is so nice delicious and easy to make so as you can see my red bell pepper is getting a bit cooked the oil is coming up that shows it's getting cooked so I'm just going to add in my turkey so it will absorb all the taste and the turkey flavor will be on the sauce and I'm going to cover it and let it cook more till it properly dry. You can see it's dry, the color has changed. So guys, you can see all the oil is coming at the top. That shows your um, sauce is getting cooked. Right now, I'm adding in the stock I got from my turkey. This is the stock I got while I'm cooking my turkey. I'm just going to add it and leave it to cook more. Approximately, the cooking process will take you up to 30 minutes depending on how you put your fire. So if your pot is very, very good, your fire can be like on the high or medium it will cook without getting burnt but when your pot is not that good with hot fire you can you're just going to put it on the low heat so your food will not get burnt while cooking okay so approximately it took me like 30 minutes for this sauce to come up for it to dry up so guys that's it it was so 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 delicious inviting oh my goodness and the best thing about the sauce is with just one little spoon you're good to go with your rice that's it guys that's my delicious inviting sauce i hope you enjoyed this recipe if you do please don't forget to hit that yes yeah, subscribe like share comment until i see you on my next video bye bye have a lovely